In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple way to beat man-to-man -man out of the troop side information. It's a really good, simple setup. Beats every defense in the game, but this is becoming one of my favorite plays, so I wanted to break it down for you. You can do it out of any play in the formation. If you don't have tight end apprentice, make sure you use Pat's YN, but you can do this out of any play if you do have tight end apprentice. And uh, we're going to use uh, PA counter go. Now, the thing you need is you need a tight end apprentice and an outside apprentice. Um, that makes this work the best. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to streak our our uh, middle trips receiver. We're going to drag uh, or slant this uh, inside trips receiver. We're going to cross our tight end, and we're going to C route Mike Evans. And then we're going to motion him across. Now, if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook, uh, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to do that is going to be in the description. But this is a really, really good concept. It's basically a shallow crossing concept. What you're going to see here is... Sometimes uh, I've noticed in trips that this receiver, uh, the middle trips receiver, if they're playing press man-to-man -man coverage, uh, for whatever reason, I feel like this specific receiver is going to have the biggest uh, or the best chance at bombing over the top. So you see here that this little streak here, a lot of times, a lot of times can actually find itself wide open. Now this motioned over C route, I think, is really underrated this year. Um, while it's true that the C route is best ran, um, generally speaking, to the left, I think it's honestly just best ran when it's out wide space, one on one, outside the you know numbers or really on the numbers, right? And you see here that this is you know a pretty nice little route. Now, um, the other thing that you have with this is most people, as a general rule, are going to want to shade their coverage outside. That's going to help it play a little bit better against corners. Um, and so what you'll see with this is this tight end apprentice crosser is really effective. Um, now my tight end's not the fastest, not the best tight end in the world, but if you put short and elite on that, um, it's going to be a little, it's going to be significantly more effective than what you're seeing. Um, but Dave Casper was short and elite, really, really good. You see that that triangle receiver is roasting him literally every single time. So that's just something to think about. Oftentimes, from what I'm seeing this year, uh, people, when they play trips, they're going to put their worst player on that middle trips receiver. Um, and so, you know, you see how he's just roasts, he just roasts him there again. Uh, with this tight end apprentice crosser, you can also, if you don't like the crosser for whatever reason, you can run a smart routed in. You can run a, a, you can run a post, tight end apprentice post. Um and then we'll show you the slant route. The slant route is going to be a little better against man. The drag is going to be a little bit better against zone. You see here, just pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, that's going to be able to cook. Again, I want you to, to draw your attention to Chris Godwin on this play. Um, I just find that he is really effective. Uh, it's really an effective route for this receiver. For whatever reason, I just find that it gets really good release. Uh, part of this is Chris Godwin is really good. But another big part of it where he's not technically in the slot um, anymore, of course. So his slot o -matic is not coming into effect at all. So uh, it's literally just a, a really good route for him to run. For whatever reason, against press man, it just really does a good job. And then your tight end route, um, we'll show you here. Right on this cut, you can pass lead it. Um, I'm getting a knockout every time. I don't know why. But anyways, just trust me. Short and elite on that is going to be really, really effective. Um, I wish the Bucks would get a, would get Gronkowski back, but even he wouldn't have like short in, I bet. But anyways, and then you have this C route on the right. You see just how good the C route is. Uh, it's just really, really effective. So um, against man, this is really, really good. And then the other thing that I like about this play is I actually think this is a really, really good zone beater. Um, so essentially you have shallow, a shallow cross. And so against zone, really the main two reads on the play are your slant or your drag. So you see here that C route's gonna pull zone back, and then I can hit the drag across the formation. Or, um, let's say they, they bite down on uh, the drag with their user, and then I'll be able to hit, you see that that streak will pull zones out of the way, and now I can hit that over the top of the zone that way so this play is really simple but man i'm telling you this is one of my favorite plays specifically against the man meta if i'm getting a lot of man coverage this is probably something that i honestly don't call enough um, just because of how effective it really is against man um you know you see here there's that tight end route again 
cooking man over the middle. And that's like a really bad tight end against Carlton Davis, uh, who we know is a pretty decent cover corner. So anyway, you know, real simple. Uh, if you don't have, let's say you don't have um, uh, outside of premise, put him on a smart routed in. Do something like this. Super simple. Um, you know, but this play, <coughs> excuse me, this play is really, really good against man, really, really good against the current meta. So make sure to add this into your arsenal if you're a trips tight end player. Also, if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is in the description to sign up. Ten bucks gets you access to all of the ebooks. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we hope to see you guys at the Patreon page.